Hey guys, it's Miss O here. We are ready for part two. So what's happening is we are rendering chiffon. We have our original sketch that we just did together. Now we take tracing paper put on top and we want the stylized version. So I'm just going to gently start to trace so that I can pull out any subtle changes here that I want to add. So for the strap, make sure it goes higher and then curve it around the body. Same thing here on the inside, extend it a little higher, diagonal line. So now I'm going underneath that strap. Okay, so again, here on the inside of the strap, we extend it a little higher. On the outside, we curve it with a frown and then a diagonal line. And now bring that shoulder out and around. So that is how we start to stylize here. I'm gonna bring this strap down, trace over to the right, and then I'm gonna softly have this muscle not be super bulky because we want her not necessarily to be an athlete elbow down to wrist nice and long strokes and then trace off that thumb so what i'm doing is stylizing a tiny bit by just emphasizing certain lines so I'm going to pull this all the way down. And then as I come in, I'm going to come up even higher and curve. Oops, even more right there. Yep, that's good. Little dash line. Same thing here on the inside, a little higher and even more because it is a bikini, what we're aiming for. So this is the stylizing. You get to emphasize what you want with the tracing paper. Okay, so there's that. Now we're coming underneath. Of course, we don't want to show the apex because that is not a see-through bikini. The chiffon cover-up on top is what is see-through. Here on the right side of the body, make sure you smile so that it extends to the right and then wraps around. Go on ahead then and stylize a little bit. So I'm softening this curve over here where the waist starts to go toward the hip. A little softer, not quite so angled. Here's a little C shape for the belly button. Up here, nice and soft as I add this muscle. And over here on the shoulder, give a little bit less emphasis on the muscular part of our model and more emphasis on her softer curves. Now notice I left some space right there. And then as I bring this down, coming toward the body, I might bring it a little lower so that it sits actually on the hip a little more. And here's my thumb and my M or W shapes. I moved them slightly to the left when I traced and now bring that elbow down toward the wrist and then the remainder of her finger. I'm just gonna show a straight line there. So now as I bring this hip, it's gonna stop a little higher so that the hand feels like it's truly sitting on the hip. And then I'm just going to add a couple lines underneath there for the other fingers that you might see. And I'm going to bring this all the way down. Now, as I start to style the waistband, I'm going to bring it even closer on the sides. So it's like an itty bitty bikini. And bring this down here on the right. And now very close. For the leg opening, same thing on this side. Super close as I make this smile. And then of course, the inside of her left leg. I'm doing that one first and then the right leg second. Okay, so now I'm gonna follow this side on the outside of her leg down and you would see a little bit right there on the inside of her hand. What else do I need to do? Hmm. I think that's it. So when you are stylizing, make sure that you pick the lines you want, emphasize where you want, de-emphasize where you don't. I'm going to add right here. Because this is a swimsuit, remember, we don't want the guidelines on our trace. We want the finished swimsuit so it's on top of the body. Uh, the next thing that I'm going to say is if you want your sketch to be completed facing in the same direction, next step is going to literally be to get a clean sheet of paper put underneath. Flip this over, trace on this side so that your lead is here. Flip it back over to your clean sheet of paper and rub it off so that it shows up onto your watercolor paper. Right now, 
if I flipped it over, because of course we sketched it here, if I flipped it over, it's going to be facing the right. So if you want it to face the left the way you originally created it, you have to turn it over, retrace everything so that there's lead on this side, then turn it back the way you want it. Now the lead here can be rubbed off onto your sketch. That's the way I'm going to do it. So go on ahead, decide which way you want your woman to face. I'm going to have it facing the left just as you see it here. So I'm going to take that time to retrace it on the back just like this and then flip it back over and rub it off onto my watercolor paper so that my watercolor paper is ready for me to paint. Thanks a lot. That concludes part two. I'll see you next time.